Debbie, how are you doing today? What brought you out here? I'm well. Um, I did a shoot with this magazine back when they were Inspire, and then when I heard that they were kind of revamping and taking it bigger and better, I was super stoked for them, and so I had to come celebrate with them, and a couple of my friends and everything are here too. So. Are you a vegan? Because we have some people here who are vegan. Are you? Vegan. I'm not. I used to be pescatarian for the longest time, um, and I was vegan for a day until I realized chocolate cake wasn't vegan. <laughs> That didn't go very well, <laughs> but no, I, you know, I've definitely considered it a few times, and I've been pescatarian off and on, so I might pick that back up again. It's nice. And what are you wearing? I am wearing a Max Azria vest. This is from Charlotte Russe. The uh, the g denim leggings are from Windsor, and the, the shoes are Max Azria BCBG Generation. Very, very cute. Oh, I love that. Thank you. That's nice. Hey. Fancy. Who is your favorite uh, celebrity right now? Like Justin Bieber. <laughs> you have Bieber fever? I'm loving some of the girls from Pretty Little Liars. It's so funny. I'm so obsessed with them. And I just saw the girl who plays A, or Allison, and I was like starstruck from across the room. It was so She's exciting. She's gorgeous. Is she? She's 14. Is she really? She's gorgeous. She's very pretty. What projects are you working on right now that you can talk about? Um, well, we just wrapped third season of Sweet Life, and so it's airing right now, and I'm kind of excited to see. Um, Bailey took a couple episodes off, you know, to, to kind of live and get over the breakup back in Kettle Corn and help out with a couple things on the farm. So now she's back, and um, as she kind of grows and you see her and Cody kind of work out their problems, it's, it's interesting to see them grow. Um, and she also gets a little closer to like London and Zach and a couple of the other artists or a couple of the other actor characters, I guess. And um, my brother and I are working on music, writing and producing. And all I want to do is really produce and co-write music. So the kind of the more we're doing that, we have a couple songs on. Um, <laughs> we have a couple songs on iTunes. We have one song that was on my soundtrack called Open Eyes that we wrote and produced, and that uh, that was kind of our big intro to music. And the more we're fi figuring it out, the more we're like falling in love with it. So home studio stuff and developing a couple, you know things acting-wise that I'm excited to talk about as, as they come together. And as far as music, who's your um, inspiration? Uh, lately I've been loving Grace Potter and the Nocturnals, obviously. Uh, James Taylor is great as far as like singer-songwriter vibes. Um, I love... I love... Let's see. <laughs> Trying to think of some of the people I've been more into lately. I, I know like two songs by every artist. Um, obviously Bowie is really, you know, inspirational and yeah, I, I take a lot of kind of rock and roll show, show, showy vibes from, from artists and so I really like that. And are you in this Twitter court craze thing or? Twitter? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm so addicted. It's not even funny. I have two Twitter applications on my phone. It's sh shameful. I do too. It's okay. I have the Uber Twitter and then the regular Twitter. See, I have Echo Phone and Uber. Yeah, we're okay. You and I, we'll get through it together. Um, yeah, no, I am. It's at the Debbie Ryan because, and while it's so pretentious, Debbie Ryan was taken, and so I just went with at the Debbie Ryan, and it's pretentious, but I'm gonna own it. Sounds better. Yeah, Sounds better. Well. You're good. You're good. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too.